Now, here's my first piece of advice for you guys. If you guys see that orange lit up, good looking X on your field, you want to send Randy Moss deep. That's what we're going to do in first play. Push him out on a streak here, and then let him do Randy Moss like things. Oh no, oh no. My offensive and defensive ebooks are now available over on hotrod.tips. If you guys are looking to win more games than Madden 20, that's the place to be. And don't forget, use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's good, everybody? We're back with another episode of Chaos Coaching. If you're new, basically what it is is me walking you through everything that I'm doing on a Madden field, whether it's my adjustments, my play calling, etc. It's basically me just trying to help you all get better and help you all to understand why I do what I do. Now, usually, I would walk you through my lineup as well because that's important. Having your lineup and having the right players in the correct positions is important for a game. But just in my last Chaos Coaching video, I broke down my entire offensive where you need every ability every player etc so you guys can go check that out if you want to then come back to this one we're gonna be breaking down our gameplay today and as you can already see look at that randy moss he looks amazing all right now speaking of randy moss as i do my subs here if you all are interested in seeing him in some more gameplay if you all want to see more randy moss 2,000 likes on this video 2,000 likes and i'll drop the minnesota vikings theme team we want to see of course featuring randy moss now here's my first piece of advice for you guys if you guys see that orange lit up good looking x on your field you want to send randy moss deep that's what we're going to do in first play push him out on the streak here and then let him do randy moss like things oh no oh no is that 55 yards i don't know randy 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 i don't even know if that's 55 yards I don't even know if that was 55 yards. I had to throw it. He sent nine people at me. What a way to start. He's got it too. We got to send crazy pressure. I'm user rushing. I'm user rushing. Get to him. Oh, I thought I got to him. Come out of bounds, please. Yes, all right. Leaves him out of bounds. I actually got home right there, but just couldn't make the tackle. That wasn't 55 yards either. Does it have to be 55 yards anymore? I don't know if it has to be 55 yards anymore or not, but you know what? It's all good. We both lost each other. Call it even. Luckily, he went out of bounds. Just don't let him get anything open. I have my guy on a soft squad over there. I don't know if he's going to pass out of this or not. I always assume if you come out of eye tight, you're going to want to run the ball. That's just what I assume. Now, if you want to pass, that's fine by me. You can show me that you want to pass the ball and we'll go from there. But I'm just going to assume you're running until proven otherwise. And there's the run. And that's actually a pretty good run. Good tackle by Tillman. When you play people that come out of eye tight, strong wing, anything like that, just trust me. You're going to want to, you're just going to want to play the run. If, if they want, if they want to start passing the ball, then you can adjust. But until that point, okay, well, there's the pass. Nothing's open though. Nothing's open. Jump. Put your hands up, Kenny. Do this right here, right here. Put your hands just like this and either catch it or knock it down. How does he not make a play on that? Bit of an odd start to this game, but you know what? Now we can start playing normal. Neither of us has Moss anymore. We can start to actually play some real defense here. We're gonna have our corner route. There we go, baby. I wanna feed Randy all day long. If I can let him get loose. If you all saw my last video with Julio Jones and the Falcons team, team he got crazy loose. I would love to see the same thing from Moss today. See who's the better player, right? Who's better? Randy Moss, Julio Jones, Golden Ticket. Now, of course, the Golden Ticket Julio Jones is a lot more expensive, so you probably should get Randy Moss regardless, but I want to know who's the best uh, best wide receiver in the game. We should have this post. We should have this post. We don't have this post. He deep halved. Okay, that's good to know. You always want to pick up on your opponent's tendencies early on in the game. What I picked up on his offensive end is he's willing to pass out of his eye tight. And what I picked up just now is out of his cover three, he's willing to put deep halves out there to stop the bombs. That is perfectly fine by me. I'm actually just going to run the ball right here. But just taking up on notes and, and putting in your mental mind just later on in the game, you can remind yourself, okay, he might do this, he might do that. And that can help you to make the correct adjustment. Ooh, all right. Big third down coming up. Something else I picked up on is he hasn't really been sending any pressure outside of that first play, of course, when I had Moss. He hasn't really sent any pressure. So I'm just going to assume that he's only going to send three or four people until he shows me other eyes. And there's the three again. He should break back to the wheel. He did. We got our post. There we go. I got a little bit scared. We're going to get blocked. Hit it right there. But we didn't get our pass off. You have to basically pick there as a user. Am I going to go to the wheel? Am I going to go to the post? And I just kind of wait for him to react there. As soon as I see him pick one, he picked the running back. We're able to go back to that post. Now, something great about this offense is you can run the ball and pass the ball effectively. So mixing in the run is definitely something you're going to want to do if you're in this O, especially if they're going to be in like a nickel set like this. You can kind of pick them apart. And if they if they want to be stubborn and stay in it, you're going to have to make them pay. Now, I'm not going to run the ball every time because it's not fun. But if you guys want to run the ball every time, go ahead and go for it. Now, I'm going to motion this guy out on his flat. He's, gonna, he's on this flat right now. Palomalu is the safety that's in the flat. He should have to lurk it here. He doesn't. So I can take this, swerve it up, go get some free yards. That's just something you can notice. If you know they're in a cover three, see where they're using if you have identifier. I love identifier. I love knowing where the user's at. If he's going to be on Palomalu, I know he's on his purple. So the flat is his responsibility. 
I'm gonna take advantage of that, make him use her that spot. And if he doesn't use her, I'm gonna take advantage of it all day. Go back to this run here. That's what we do in the red zone. This is what we do in the red zone. In the red zone, that's why this offense is so effective. Oh, I actually should have went no huddle there. If you see your opponent in the defense, you, you want them in. All right, he's staying in. You go no huddle, and I'm just gonna be able to tote it into the end zone here. I do not expect him to be able to stop this run four times in a row. And that's what we do in the red zone. And that's why this offense is so good. When you get down inside the 10, you can basically just run this fullback dive all day. And I'm just going to do it till I get in here four times. I'm going no huddle every play. Unless he shows he can blow it up crazily. Thank you. And we're in. Great answer back for a touchdown. Ooh, now he's coming out in the near close legs. I think I have pretty good defensive against him. We'll find out this first play, though. I'm actually going to spy him. I do not want him getting loose with Cunningham. That's one thing I do not want is him getting loose with Cunningham. I'll be out right here on this wheel. Oh, oh. Oh, that was bad user by me. I was out there. I just didn't expect him to throw it. I was kind of just out there. So, okay, where is he going? Where is he going to throw it? He threw it right there. I just wasn't ready to play it. We're going to try to get some pressure on him right here. If he does get outside the pocket, we have a spy again. That's one thing I just don't want. I like to keep the QB in the pocket. Or if he tries to roll out, make him pay for it. We're on that with Tillman. We're on that with Tillman. Go make a play. Give me some blocks. We don't need any blocks. To the crib. To the crib. Go get it. Let's go! You guys just have to know there that really that all that was was just kind of stock coverage with the spy trying to keep him inside the pocket. And he did stay inside the pocket. If he's able to get outside the pocket there, that crosser might, it, it's either like a 40, 50 yard gain or a touchdown. Since he stayed in the pocket right there, it was able to play it just enough for us to get a pick six. Something I will notice, I'm surprised he got out of that eye tight. I wasn't able to stop his runs out of the eye tight at all. And he was able to have a successful pass from it. I think he should have just stayed in the offense that he was in. That is what it is. And there you go. The seat. That's what I was talking about the crosser. He stayed in the pocket again, but he had a little bit more time. That pass is a lot easier if he can roll out to the left. I got to I gotta figure out how to get some more pressure on him. I'm not getting home the way I'm expecting to. If we keep not getting home on this blitz, I'll have to change up what I'm doing. So I'm expecting to get a little bit of pressure, but I just haven't been. He's been able to stand tall back there, even with my two pass rush elites. We'll figure it out here. I'm out here in the flat. Nothing doing. Oh, we actually had a wide open corner route. Go get that. Go get that. Let's go. That was really just him making the play for me. Jadavius White's a great corner in this game. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yo, I never make anybody miss. Let's go. Come on. I can't believe that turned into a pick six. Is he going to quit out? We'll get another game if he quits out. All right. On to game two. All right. Here we are in game two. And you see he's got Randy Moss too. This is going to be a battle. We already explained this strategy once. We're doing it again. We're going deep to Moss. We didn't get outside the pocket because Clowney. No, I have to throw it away. Clowney. Usually we got the chop block animation, but you'll see here when I replay it for you, he just... Push my running back into the ground. I was going to chuck that thing up. Very unfortunate right there. We could have had an easy touchdown. At least an easy 50-yard gain. We should have our, our uh, corner out. We should have it. Nice, Calvin. If he wants to keep sitting in this cover too, I'm going to go to this corner out all day long. We're going to have it again. Oh, he manned it up. Nice. All right, that, that corner out can get manned up. It gets over cloud flats really, really well to a nice spacing, but it can be manned up in box. Going to make him choose here again, post or wheel. It's the same thing we did last game. Oh, he didn't. I was going to throw the wheel. Oh, wow. I, I, I'm not getting my chop block, and that is not good for me. He still hasn't came out of this cover two yet. We should have Randy Moss or our post. I like our play here for this fourth down. I like it a lot. He manned up Randy. He did a great job. He did a great job. He manned up Randy Moss. Oh, wow. I did not expect him to do that at all, especially with the motion over. Really good defensive possession. Not my best start to a game. He's coming out on this Trey Y flex. This is a very effective formation. He's got Randy Moss in the slot. I expect him to motion block here and try to get deep with Randy. We just got to pull this guy in. Make sure we get some pressure on him. All right, he's going to block. He's going to block everybody. He's motioning that tight end to block him. I'm sending an endless pressure. I'm sending an endless pressure at him. If he blocks it, he blocks it. But this is about as good as I can do. And we got home. There we go, baby. Now we can play a little bit more conventional defense. But he quick hiked and we got home. We're doing a good job right now. We got to keep this up. We got to keep this up. If, we, if he can't deal with the pressure, keep sending it. That's my best advice to people in this game. The pressure is extremely good in this game. If you get home, your guys are coming so fast at 99 speed that they're just going to have nothing that they can pass. And if they can't block it, you've got to keep sending it. It's the only way to play. Now, can you mix it up some? Sure, sure. But do not get away from it. That's something that I, I advise to everyone. If you get away from what's working, then it's just, then why, why, are you, why are you changing it? Why are you changing it when it's working? I've gotten home three times in a row. There's no reason for me not to send pressure at him every single time until he shows he can block it. Oh, stick, sticky! Oh, wasn't he? I wasn't even ready. I was just gonna 
sit here, no commentary, just like, wow, what am I doing here? Okay, what am I gonna say on this next play? What am I gonna run against if I was Fox last possession? Woo, baby, I've never gotten sticky like that. All you regulars, all you people that come to watch every video, my, my loyal subs, please comment to people that are new. Let them know how often I get sticky. It's about this much, zero. I never make anyone miss. It is my worst nightmare. I never make anyone miss. That was unbelievable. I'm so hyped right now. Don't quit, come on. You actually just boxed me before, come on. Oh, wow. He quit out. I did. He actually played some really good defense at the first position. I'm surprised he did that, but all right. All right, we will get a game three. Here we are in game three, and you see he's got Randy Moss, and I've got Randy Moss too. I'm still hyped up from the game before for my punt return, the greatest punt return I personally ever had. I'm ready to ball. Three times a charm on this Randy Moss. You see the X runs again. We're going deep. He sent crazy pressure. No, he sent crazy pressure. Ah! I did not expect him to send crazy pressure like that. Hopefully he doesn't do that again. And he did. Oh, thank you. We blocked it that time. Get up field. Just take our few yards. We've got to pick up this first down here. That's the one thing I don't like about Moss. You usually put yourself in a position where you're always getting sacked on the first play. If you don't get the 50-yard the bomb, you're usually sacked on the first play, and that's not ideal. We're on a fourth and one. I'm just going to run the ball. Another, like I said, another great thing about this offense is you can run the ball and pass the ball effectively. I'm just going to run this fullback dive. If he stops it, he stops it, but it's really hard to stop this thing for less than one yard. Come on. And there you go. So you just run straight. Go get your one. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, okay. Woo! I thought I thought I didn't get it for a second. I don't know why. I looked at the, the yard line. I thought it, it like made a change to the him having it, but okay. Like I said, just run the ball straight. You'll get one yard 99 out of 100 times there, no matter what they do on defense. We should have our corner out. Ooh, okay. He's using on the outside corner. Again, this, we're going to be something to be able to like, take advantage of that because if they're using in an outside flat, that means they have to guard that flat themselves. You can put a player over there that you don't even want to pass through a decoy, make him guard it for a second, then you'll have something else open. So I'm actually going to do that right here. I'm going to motion Randy Moss over on a flat. Okay, he's actually not he's not going to use that guy anymore. That's the great thing about Identifier, too. You can see exactly what they're doing and, and adjust for it, essentially. But you know what? We're just going to do this here. We're just going to leave our hitch right there on that tight end. We should have it. Oh. Okay. That's, that's always nice when you get blocked shit in about... 3.2 seconds. I don't know what I'm talking about with 3.2. That was more like 1.2. We got our trail. We got our... Dude, come on. It's wide open. I just want to get the pass off. We have Gunslinger. I'm going for this thing. We should have one of our posts right here. We should. We picked up his pressure. We got our post. We got our post. I love the placements of the post in this offense. That's probably my... That's probably the thing I like the most about it. Now, obviously, I like that you can run the ball and pass. But it is great just to know that your posts are going to get over any zones underneath, but underneath any of the deep blues. Now, I did not want to take a hit stick right there, but I play on conservative. I recommend everyone play on conservative. Eat his sticks for lunch because I, I have no sticks, so I end up running into the user a lot of the time. And when that's the case, you're going to take a lot of hit sticks. So play on conservative. Now, if you all have stick, you guys can do a little bit more on balance than I can. So feel free to use that as well. But I'm a conservative guy. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. I believe he's usering the player that's supposed to be in this flat zone. I'm going to take advantage of that. We should have our flat outside. Okay, he usered. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly what I'm talking about. Post to Randy Moss. Perfect placement. Exactly what I'm talking about. I made him use that flat. That was the decoy. I literally talked about that earlier. If they want to use her a flat zone, make them to go use her something. I just motioned out a flat and made him play out there. And then I have a post coming over the middle of the field that's not going to get guarded by those zones. I'm not sure if he's in the same play here. But if he is, I'm going to make him use this flat once again. Come on. He is. I'm going to make him use it. I'm going to keep making him use that. He has to use the flat because he's on the flat guy, and then he doesn't have time to get back to the post. I'm going to actually do something different right here. We're looking for our corner out on the right. He did a good job. Oh, I need to get through that pocket right there. That's, that's bad pocket by me. That's bad pocket. He did a good job adjusting right there, though. His outside corner pretty much straight up boxed by tight end on the corner out, which was what my read was on that play. We're going to have to change up here. What we're going to do is go back to those double posts that I love the placement on. They work so, so well. So I'll go back to that. We can get about half back right here and go from there. Pick up a blitz. We got our post again. We got our post. Low ball. Low ball. Let's go. If you don't want to take a hit stick on your passes, guys, low ball is your friend. It basically makes you possession catch it just like that. The cloud flat can't hit me. The deep blue can't hit me. And now we're just going to run this fullback dive and punch this thing in the end zone and punch this thing in. Come on, Dickerson. More fight than that. I need more fight than that. This has been the longest drive ever, but I'm going to continue to say it. The greatness of this offense is down here inside the red zone. Be able to give it to your running back. Fullback dive. It's easy to punch it in down here. Now, do I get stopped every once in a while? Sure. Sure, I get stopped. They blow up the run. They do what they have to do. And it sometimes stops it. But if you have four chances, first and goal from the four, and then second and goal from the two, 
you're going to get in the end zone i would say 96 percent of the time you'll get in the end zone we're already at the two minute warning and we're getting now to see his first possession this is kind of crazy that was probably the longest first drive i've ever had but now he has moss so there's no way i'm gonna give him time in this pocket whatever he has to do i'm not gonna give him that time now if he throws anything else that's fine just take your running back Ooh, that is very unlucky by him that is very unlucky that was a good read that's what i'm willing to give up i'm not gonna give you randy moss that is not that's why i actually tend to use double me i wanted to try out moss because i thought he might catch it more now that he has his upgraded version he probably has because i've caught i've caught one but it's just it's better just to have double me you can unlock double me easier you don't have to worry about people sending nine people at you and taking a sack your first possession like i did i made my drive a lot harder that first possession because i i sent out uh two people and he sent nine people at me and he gets home in two seconds oh no no no, no. i don't want to give up the bubble screen he's got human joystick i'm sure just like i do on him human joystick is so scary no no he quick hiked me oh no i gotta make that tackle bubble screens are always the biggest pain for me because i feel like i have to do so much to stop them just because i need to be able to contain that inside zone out of my 146 but i also have to do the adjustments to stop that bubble screen what i usually do to stop the bubble screen is either i'll man up the outside guy with my slot corner or i'll put him in a purple and pass commit either one usually works right here i'll man up the outside guy pass commit oh no 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 i'm off sides great oh and i picked him for six dude oh wow no no that's what i'm talking about though i thought i'm actually gonna waste time right here just actually no because i might get the ball back i'm not gonna waste time that's what i'm talking about though i feel like i have to do a lot and it gets me quick hiked on these bubble screens that was gonna stop him that's just what i was gonna do is gonna stop it i ended up with a pick six he gets a fresh set of downs if you are new to these chaos coaches though i pretty much ramble the entire time trying to give as much advice as possible trying to let you all know what i'm thinking the entire game it's not that easy to do because honestly when i'm talking to you it's hard for me to think but i kind of just go off my instinct what i usually do in a game of madden how i try to be successful does it work every time no but for the most part it usually works out for me i feel like i'm a pretty decent player at the game but that's why that's why i ramble in these videos pretty much i don't want y'all to be like oh this guy talks so much i don't talk nearly as much in my other videos oh oh i got stuck again i got stuck again i don't ramble in my other videos my theme teams my my team building series all that stuff i don't really ramble that much in but for these i feel like i have to get out as much direction as possible now let me lock in and try to make sure i hold them to three right here oh no, dude no, no no the under two minute thing no no no. i had to flip my play oh wow i had to flip my play if you're under two minutes you can come right out of your huddle and hike in two seconds i had to flip my nickel to try to get my slot corner over there he's able to hike it before the guy even gets over there obviously no one's there to stop the bubble screen because i have no slot corner easy seven not not the start to the game that we wanted on the defensive side of the ball i had a great offensive drive i felt like i felt comfortable we gave up the seven in like a minute and a half and it was basically all the bubble screens i'm out of one four six too many things you got to do i'm gonna be a big nickel the rest of the game i'm not gonna allow him to run that inside zone every play I tell you all the time if you're getting dotted things aren't going well change it up you do not have to continue to just basically let your opponent be successful play after play after play as you just run the same thing change it up it'll help you so much to be successful now we need to put together a drive right here so i'm gonna go back to my post here try to get a good dot early get ourselves rolling and then from there we can kind of figure it out he's on the outside corner once again we got our post low ball keep me from getting hit today i'm gonna call a timeout now that we got that first play going, I feel like we can get three on this drive. He played a cover two last play. I really, really hope he does it again. We should have this post for a huge gain. He did. We have it. No, he got through. It's wide open. No, 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 no. Quickly, quickly. Oh, wow. The runoff was a lot right there. Just, oh, no, man. I had my play. I'm just going to motion this guy over. That's all I need to do. Just motion over. I'll have this post. Block, please. Block, please. Block, please. Block, please. Got him. Yes, that's all I wanted to play before. We just wasted 30 seconds on that, though. Now, I wasn't paying attention to the win, but we need probably about seven yards to feel comfortable right here. I'm going to look for either post. Pass lead it up. Nice, and we got our three. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Way to answer. I did not finish this half the way I wanted to on defense, but we still have the lead. It's his ball at halftime. If we get a stop at a halftime and then a score, we'll have complete control of the game. Now, that, that was about as good as I can. Why would he do that? Why? Why? It's a glitch, isn't it? It's a glitch. Oh, wow. I can't see anything. And now I'm not going to get my field goal. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it just goes to halftime, right? Okay, good, good, good. I, I thought there was a glitch in the game. I know in real life, like, if there's a penalty that you can... Stop playing like this, dude. Thank you. I made it. I, I don't know what he is doing. Don't play like that, people. Please. Please, please, please. I thought there was a glitch in the game where if you blocked the field goal before half and there was a penalty, they actually didn't give you the field goal the way that they're supposed to give you an untimed down it, but... I guess that glitch is fixed or it's not a real glitch or whatever so we get our three i don't know why he was acting like that but i'm, I'm glad we got our points because that would just make this a tainted game and i, I hate that I, I i'm just ranting right now i don't like that please don't play like that 
Let's get a stop out of this halftime. Let's figure it out. I'm on this bubble. I'm on this bubble. No, no. Oh, good hit, Tillman. I got to get set up faster. I got to figure out this bubble screen. I got to get my guy pulled in. I have to make the play. Let's go. I'm ready this time. I am ready this time. I feel like if he runs this bubble screen, my guy's going to get out there. Come on. Oh, my guy knocked my my run stopper knocked the guy down into my running path. We should be ready this time. Oh, no. Oh, wow. He passed the ball. Oh, we're getting hit sticks right now. We're knocking heads. We're ready for it this time. We're ready for it this time. I know I was stuck that time, but I had my bubble screen stopped. I feel like my inside stuff guys are going to stop this inside zone every time now. I just need to make sure that the bubble screen does not get there. Oh, dude. No, no. I'm stuck on Miles Garrett. Come on. Get set up. This is... Oh, I'm playing so bad on defense. Get set up, Kent. There we go. We're set up. We're set up finally. I'm going to blow this up now. And we don't really blow it up, but we get a nice block shed. I am just not able to stop this right now. I don't know why, but I just feel like my guys, my guys aren't getting home. My, my, usually my middle linebackers would shoot right through on that inside zone, but I'm not getting it. Ready? Oh, I thought, I thought I was going to bait him. I just wanted to try to bait him one time. I know I'm not doing a good job against this, but really, I, I'm just trying to get a turnover because I am not stopping this inside zone bubble screen. Please, please, if you all have the answer to this bubble screen... Feel free to fly it in because I clearly am not making any plays on it. Get through, get through. There we go. There we go. I think I got it. I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. I'm just going to stop the bubble screen with the outside guy. I can use that outside linebacker, shoot the gap on it. If that doesn't work, then I don't know what I got for it. I can't do anything. I, I finally figured out how to stop it. It wouldn't let me move. It wouldn't let me move. It wouldn't let me press. It wouldn't let me do anything. That's crazy. I finally figure out the defense. And he's able to just quick hike throw that level sail. And you can't throw that if I'm able to get my press off there because my deep third will stop it. I'm ready for it again. I'm ready for it again. Just run the ball. And I'll just shoot right through this gap. There we go. I have it down. If they just let me adjust, I have it down. We're ready for it again. We are ready for it again. All right, he's passing. Oh, I gave him that. The seam streak. The seam streak. Oh, that seam streak is so good from any trips formation. It's probably the it's probably the best red zone play in the game. No matter what defense they're in, pretty much it's automatic. You kind of have to man that guy up, and I gave it up. This is not not good. I have I know I know I'm here I'm here to coach you guys. Right? It's chaos coaching. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'll tell you guys a quick secret. I do not have a single answer for what he's doing to me right now. It's simple. But it is literally picking me apart. Literally picking me apart. It's either bubble screen or quick hike level stay on. I, he's making a good read every time on it. I got to figure it out. Before we figure it out, though, I need to figure out how to get some points. Oh, we should have it here. We should have our bomb. We got it. We got it. You got to use it that corner again. You got to use it that corner again. Go get him off. Go, baby. Don't let him catch me. 99 speed. 99 speed should never be caught from behind. I need a touchdown on that. But that, again, was the exact thing I was talking about. He's using that outside flat. He has two responsibilities. He can't cover both. Now we have the bread and butter of this fullback dive. Let's just go get in the end zone here. Let Dickerson, just keep running like that, baby. Just keep running like that. We'll do just fine. That's what I love about this offense. I'm going to keep saying it. You can run the ball down here, and you're usually going to get in. Come on. Block for me. Keep fighting. Just keep fighting, Dickerson. We'll get in that end zone. We're on aggressive here, so I'm going to give Dickerson a quick break. I don't want him to fumble the ball. I'm going to get Gurley in there. Come on, Gurley. Let's go. All right. We scored super quick. Get a stop, please. I'm going to try using her on this backside safety and see if that helps me at all. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Oh, we dropped the bubble. Okay, he, he was about to get super cheated on that. That would have been really bad. But okay, that didn't stop the bubble screen. So I got I to gotta make sure I'm manning the guy up the way I was doing it before. Set up again. We're actually getting set up now. Finally, just keep it up, man. Just keep it up. Please stop this inside zone. We're doing it. We're doing it. This is how we're going to get off the field. Come on. Fight defense. He shouldn't be able to block anything in this. Come on. Get home. Tillman. That's Lurker. He catches that without Lurker. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Let's go, baby. To the crib. That's going to finish it off. That does not get picked without Lurker. Lurker is amazing when you have it at linebacker. We just got to make sure not to let him score quick here. And we're going to win this game. He needs two scores no matter what. I'm on Mays here. We should get home. Yes, sir. Let's go. He's got Tom Brady back there. So he's not going to be able to move in the pocket. I don't have to worry about spying or anything of that nature. It's not under two minutes yet. So I don't have to worry about the quick hike. We'll just keep getting home right here. Make sure not to give up anything. We're here. We're here. Pick that. And that should be GG's. That should be GG's. I'm actually going to not even score right here if I, unless I can... Yeah, I'm not going to score right here. We're just going to probably clock this game out. Looks like he's about to actually quit. All right, he's going to quit. That's going to be GG's. We got three games in. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all learned a little bit of something. I hope you learned from my mistakes as well as the things that I did well. I hope you guys think Randy Moss is a glitch because he's super, super good. If you did, if you did enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy. Peace.